Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of the FIFA World Cup Brazil 2014 Sticker Book Collection. Now, as always, we've got five more packs to open today on Friday. So, uh, of course, as always, whenever I, uh, I do an episode of this, I always like to promote the other stuff that I've had going up on the channel over the past few days. Of course, there was an AC Milan career mode episode uploaded earlier on this afternoon, so uh, feel free to check the channel page for that. My player went up last night, as well as, of course, another AC Milan career mode. So, uh, there's plenty of stuff going on on the, on the channel right now. There's going to be my player and more of this tomorrow and Sunday as well so feel free to hit the subscribe button in the top right so to make sure you don't miss out on any of all three series and if you missed the last one of this series there's a little annotation down there in the bottom left to take you to that video but let's get cracking shall we number 535 is the first player we pull actually let me just alter the focus bear with me one second if I tap the phone should focus in on the stickers you guys seem to be preferring uh, this setup with the focus on the stickers in front of the camera as opposed to the book in the background but uh, Emmanuel Badu is the first player we get we do need him I think a place for uh, Udinese as you can see in the Italian league in Serie A now we're oh I've shown you that one inadvertently so we'll go to that one first it is of course the full Algerian 11 I do think we need that one as well which is quite pleasing so that can go in the to go into the book pile unfortunately Serie D A the uh, the midfielder from Ivory Coast and FC Basel we do have so you can go into the duplicate pile 201 is Jackson Martinez was team of the season this year we do still need him for our Colombian team so he can go into the book and number 377 to round out the uh, the first pack is Patrice Evra and I think we need Patrice as well so I'll put him in the to go into the book pile just to make sure of course every Sunday we go through the book and uh, we don't open any packs but we go through the book and make sure that we've got or we check and see what we've got and uh, see what we're missing but so uh, we're about 60 to 65 percent of the way through now so hopefully we can get even closer to uh, to finishing the series in uh, the next week or so because of course we are getting more duplicates than ever before but so far we're doing okay although Angel Di Maria is unfortunately a duplicate but still a very very good player so he can go into that pile over there number 229 is Benjamin Angua uh, I don't have him. Actually, no, question mark. I do think I have him. Uh, Valencien defender, plays for Ivory Coast, of course. I am actually thinking about it pretty certain I do have him. This one, as you can see, it's got a shiny... Uh, it's got code on the back, which means it's shiny. It's the Bosnia Herzegovina uh, national football badge. We don't have that, so that can go into the book. So first shiny actually we pulled in quite a few days. Would you believe it? The very next pack we get Patrice ever again. He can go into the duplicate pile because regardless of whether we don't have him yet or not, we do have a duplicate now. And the full Dutch eleven is the last pack or the last pull from that pack. We do still need that card as well though, so that sticker can go into. The book. Now, I've had a couple of people asking in the uh, comment section: Are they stickers or are they, uh, you know, cards? How do you put them into the book? Because I guess I, uh, considering the way that I do this series, you can't really see me put them into the book. But let me just see if I can show you. Let's put one into the book, shall we? This is number 19, so this is going to be half of a stadium, as you can see. It's half of the Manaus Stadium. If I open it up to the uh, page 19, where's that going to go? Down here. I'll move the book across. It's going to go in down here, but. I'll just show you how they work because I know some of you guys in uh, in the foreign country. I say foreign countries. It's not foreign to you. It's your country, but in countries that aren't England, uh, aren't necessarily aware of how this works. But as you can see, you just peel the back off it like that. I don't understand. Oh, I don't really know why I haven't really shown anything like this as to how you do put stuff in the book. For uh, it's taken me what 23 episodes to actually get around to doing this, but. Put it in like this. I'm kind of doing it at a weird angle, so it's probably not going to be very straight. But there you go. We now have the full stadium from Manaus. But anyway, now that that's out of the way, let's uh, let's crack on with the rest of the third pack. I'm not really too sure why I went off on tangents, but you know I do like to go off on tangents. But anyway, number 464. Let's get cracking. Is Askan Jajaga plays for Fulham, of course, Iranian, not Iranian, yes, Iranian. What am I talking about? Askan Jajaga plays for uh, for Fulham in the, well, I say in the Premier League, but they've finished now, or well, the season's finished now, they got relegated. So unfortunately for him, be a championship player next season. One player that isn't a championship player is uh, Kimbo Kyung. Actually, <laughs> I timed that really badly, because look, plays for Cardiff City. He will be a championship player next season. Well done, Chez. Next player we pull is Eric Abidal. We do need him, a French player that we do need. French defender, obviously plays for Monaco in the uh, in the Liga 1 team. Of the season Liga 1 is in packs right now. Of course, on our ultimate team. Unfortunately, Eric Abidal's uh, liver cancer has come back. I'm aware, so uh, best of luck to him in recovering for that. Hopefully, he doesn't uh, suffer the same fate as uh, Tito Villanova did, unfortunately passing away earlier on in the month. But the next player we pull, the third player or third and final player. Oh dear. Fifth and final player from the third pack. Too many numbers. Jerome Boateng, centre back. Bayern München. Think we have him, but I'll put him in the pile that we don't have so far just to check. I'm all over the place today. Because uh, 
I don't know, maybe it's that weekend feeling coming up towards the the weekend and you guys are going to be finishing school for the weekend. You'll have to let me know in the comment section as well, actually. When do you finish school for the summer? I know it's still middle of May and you've got a half-term week to come before we actually get to the summer, but I am curious as to know when you guys are off school because, obviously, I'm going to be 26 at the end of the month. I'm not really too up to speed with when the holidays are, but uh, obviously, you know, the ch channels just in general do better during the holidays, so it'd be nice to know when to uh, expect extra traffic, etc. But number 428, Sergio Aguero, really, really good player. Unfortunately, we already have him, along with Angel Di Maria, so he can go in the duplicate pile. 152 is Jose Rojas, Costa Rica, not Costa Rican, Chilean, plays for Universidad de Chile. Unfortunately, we have him as well, so he can go in the duplicate pile. 247 is another Japanese player, Yuto Nakatomo. Was he plays for Inter in the Serie A? I think we already have him, but I'm not entirely too sure, so I put him in the uh, to go into the book pile. Obviously, remove him later if we do have him. Shinji Kagawa is a Japanese player we definitely do need to play for Manchester United currently. Been rumoured to be going back to Borussia Dortmund. Not sure what's going to happen with him in the future. And we pull number 577, 577 which is Nasser Chadley. Unfortunately, we do have him, even though we do need quite a few Belgians. He isn't one of the ones that we need, but we're still looking, of course, for Eden Hazard and Vincent Company, probably the two uh, best and most sought-after Belgians for a series like this, or any uh, situation where you're trying to build a full national side. I'm actually struggling to get into this fifth and final pack. There we go. We're in. It's, uh, it's a labyrinth trying to open these packs and not damage the cards, I swear, but out you get. Right, final pack, number 429 is the first one. And uh, we're going with Gonzalo Higuain. Question mark whether he should be in Team of the Season this week for Serie A. Had a very good year at Napoli. Can go into the book. I think we need him. Although, as always, as we get further into this series, my memory can fail. And uh, unfortunately, there are some players that I just think we don't have and we actually do. But Mataba Jabari is the next player we get. Iranian, plays for Al Ali in the Qatari Domestic League. He can go into the book. 3-3-5, we've got about five Mario Balotelli's now, unfortunately. But still a very nice player to pull. Number 381 is Mamadou Sarko, I think we have him as well, French defender, but I will put him in the potential pile. And 358, the final player from today's episode is going to be Walter Ayovi, the Colum not Colombian, Ecuadorian player, plays for Pachucha in the Mexican domestic leagues. And that is going to round out today's episode. Apologies that I'm a little bit all over the place today, not really too sure what's up with me, but I'll, uh, I'll go and record Saturday's one now and then. Uh, You'll see that tomorrow, I guess, tomorrow night. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a thumbs up as well if you uh, if you did enjoy. Of course, like I, uh, I always say, check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. My player, AC Milan Karimo, previous episodes in this series. But as for now, that's all for today. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.